welcome back to the Chronicles of Aguna, the Arsenal podcast sponsored by Loserport.com. As ever, I'm your host, Harry Simeon, and on this very short video, I'm going to have a little bit of a rant. Now, my rant is not about Unai Emery. It's not about any of the Arsenal players. It's not even about Stan Kroenke. Uh, you may be surprised to hear. My rant today is about UEFA because I spent my entire day yesterday looking at ways to get to Baku without having to remortgage. Um, the cheapest option is the Arsenal official travel um, you know, plan that they're putting in place, and it's £980, I believe, uh, for a day trip to Baku. Now, Baku is 2,853 miles away, so to play a final there between two London teams, in my head, just doesn't make sense. Now, I understand that UEFA need to tie down where the final is going to happen uh, in the first place. Uh, and they need to do it from a while in advance. And I get all that. And, you know, it could have been two Russian teams, for example, and then Azerbaijan wouldn't be a problem. But the likelihood of that happening wasn't very high, was it? And I know UEFA want to spread it around, but there are far more sensible destinations to hold the European final in than Baku. Now, I've got nothing against Azerbaijan. I've got nothing against the city of Baku. However... The lack of transport links and the fact that it is so far has completely priced so many Arsenal fans out of attending our first European Cup final since 2006. And it's, it's really sad to see. I mean, we're talking about the furthest destination you could have possibly picked that is classed as Europe. It's, it's absolutely ridiculous. And not only that, I mean, not only is the distance bad, is the travel links bad, is the price is ridiculous, but the, to give the two sides an allocation of 12,000 tickets between them in a 67,500 seater stadium is nothing short of pathetic. It's absolutely pathetic. And UEFA have come out and said it would be irresponsible to give more tickets due to the fact that the airport of Baku can't handle a larger influx of people. The fact that the city can't handle it. Well, if the city can't handle such an event, why have you given it to them? Why have you given it to them? And again, I want to reiterate, I've got no issue with the country of Azerbaijan. I've got no issue with the city of Baku. But you need to find a venue in a host city that is fit for purpose. And Baku is not. Clearly it isn't. I mean, do, the, do you ever think that they're going to sell... The remaining 55,000 or so tickets to Azerbaijani citizens who don't support either side. No, of course they're not. Of course UEFA sold tickets for this final months and months ago. I know friends, Arsenal supporters who bought uh, from UEFA directly just in case we got to the final. And they'll be going. But now the travel's a pain in the ass. Either way, this final is is a complete mess. And it's taken the gloss off what should be a really great occasion. Arsenal have come out and, and had a little moan about the allocation, so of Chelsea and rightly so, you know. But for me, there has to be some sort of regulations imposed on these cities when they host finals. Hotel prices are an absolute joke. Airlines are taking the piss. So as UEFA, you need to put something in place. You need to regulate somehow the fares going there. You need to make sure that hotel owners are not taking the piss. I understand that it's a big event and they're going to cash in a little bit and they're going to put their prices up. That's fair. But we're talking about rooms that would have cost £100 now costing £2,000. That for me is extortionate and it's not fair. It's absolutely not fair. Going back to the ticket allocation, 6000 for Arsenal. Well, the club have approximately 40,000 season ticket holders. It's pathetic. It's ridiculous. And, you know... The only reason that they might get away with this pathetic allocation is because of how difficult it is to get to Baku. I've spoken to lots of dedicated Arsenal fans who travel home and away week in, week out and have done for years who now can't afford to attend the final. And for me, that's sad. It's a sad state of affairs. That's modern football for you now. Fans, regular fans are being prized out of the game and it's just not fair. And then, of course, there's the issue with Henrik Mkhitaryan. Henrik Mkhitaryan is, of course, Armenian, and there is some political tension between the Armenians and the Azerbaijani government. And Henrik Mkhitaryan skipped the group game against Karabag because of this, because of visa issues, because they couldn't guarantee his safety. Well, this is a European Cup final, and I don't see why we should have to go all the way out there without Henrik Mkhitaryan, because they, 
the government over there in Azerbaijan cannot give us guarantees over his security. This is 2019. Why can't you guarantee a football player's security? A professional football player. The world's eyes are on your city and you can't guarantee that he'll be safe. It's ridiculous. Arsenal, their last comment they made was that they'd not received enough, um, you know, sort of communication to suggest that, that Mkhitaryan would be safe. And for me, if I was UEFA, the minute that I, I was giving them the, the, you know, the final to host, I would have been looking into these issues. I would have been checking all this stuff. Surely UEFA have checked this stuff. They've given Azerbaijan some games in the, in the next Euros. I think it's four games that they host. How are people supposed to get there? How are we supposed to get behind a city who can't guarantee the safety of a professional footballer because of some politics that happened years ago? It's not on. It's not on. And the minute that came up, the minute that Azerbaijan refused to give any guarantees that Henrik Mkhitaryan will be safe, the final should have been taken away from them. Now, I understand the Champions League final it is coughing up a lot of the same problems in terms of inflated costs, in terms of poor ticket allocations. But it's in Madrid, for God's sakes. There are ways of getting to Madrid. There are multiple ways of getting to Madrid. And whilst it might cost a little bit more, it's not completely on the other side of the continent. In fact, Azerbaijan, is it even in Europe geographically? I don't know. I'm not a geographer. But it's, it's, it's ridiculous. And for me, it's completely taken the gloss of what should be off of what should be a fantastic occasion and I'm really really disappointed that A I might not get a ticket and B if I do get a ticket I'm going to have to spend an extortionate amount of money to get there really upsetting um, and you know UEFA you should be ashamed of yourselves and fingers crossed the supporters kick up enough of a fuss because UEFA you are killing our game